Hello, in this video we will learn about how to use loops in MATLAB. Loops in MATLAB. Generally loops are used in our programming language when we want to execute a, a small portion of a code again and again. Uh, <coughs> or uh, suppose we want to run a particular set of program or particular set of instruction uh, again and again till the uh, specific condition is met to stop that uh, uh, particular execution. So uh, at those locations, at those uh, point of time, uh, we generally prefer using the loops. In uh, uh, MATLAB, there are two kinds of loop available in MATLAB. First is for loop and the second one is the while loop. So uh, for loop acts uh, uh, when we want uh, a particular set of program, uh, particular set of lines of code to execute a specific number of times irrespective of the condition, then we generally use the for loop. So the syntax of the for loop is for then the available condition uh, or available counter uh, for setting the number of times for setting the how many number of times therefore we will execute then statements and then end another loop is uh, available in MATLAB that is uh, while loop and while loop runs when uh, a, a while loop runs until a particular condition uh, is true so the syntax for while loop is while then condition on which this while loop will execute and the line of statements and at the end and so this uh, statements uh, will run continuously until this condition uh, is false so now we will uh, take some examples for based on these two loops and we will write in MATLAB the first example we are in taking for for loop is the generation of the arithmetic progression series that means the AP series so we will generate a AP series to a specific number of times we will uh, ask from the user to the first number we will ask for the user the difference between first and second and we will ask the user for how many times uh, they he or she wants to generate this series after getting the required length number uh, required length of the series we will write the for loop and we have to store uh, the uh, series into a variable so we will take the variable ap and first number of the variable is number itself then we will write a program of we will write a for loop i equals to 1 2 to the length of n and uh, uh, we will take from the second number onwards so a of p equals to a plus i minus 1 into b and the end so our program is done we will clear the command window and we'll clear all the variables and then we'll run it it asks for first number two the difference three and the length of the series is five so our ap series has been generated and it's two five eight eleven and fourteen and each number has a common difference of so three uh, through this for loop we can easily generate our AP series. Now uh, we will write uh, a different program for mm, demonstrating uh, the working of file loop. We will write a program for factorial. So in the factorial again, we need to know the number whose factorial we want to know. Input, enter the number. That's it the prime condition in factor it goes from it takes the multiplication and it, is, it stops at one so we have to store the result of the factorial into certain number so we will uh, uh, store the result in fact and we are initializing it by one and then while loop until n is greater than or equals to one until n is greater than one only then while loop will execute and this fact will be equal to fact into n. 
and n will be equals to n minus and then end. Suppose so a program is done and we will run it. So it asks for enter the number, we will enter 5. So the fact uh, the store uh, result is stored in fact and we are getting the factorial of the number n. So how this program is working when n is equal to 5, so for first time it is greater than 1. So we are getting fact multiplied by n that means 1 into n fact equals to 5 and now n is initialized by 4 uh, still it is greater than 1 so it will run again and now fact value will be 20 now it's 3 n value is 3 after this line it is again greater than 1 so this uh, command will execute and fact value is 60 now it's 2 it's uh, still greater than fact value is 120 now it's 1 so this condition is not true so it will terminate the program and the last value of the factorial we will get in the fact variable so uh, we can use while loop uh, in this particular case when we want to run this set of instruction until a specific conditions is met and while in the case of for loop we uh, we want uh, we can use the for loop where we want uh, to run the set of uh, instruction for a specific number of times uh, irrespective of the condition so through the uh, this uh, through this uh, method uh, we have learned about how to use for loop and while loop in matlab so that's it for this video thank you